Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and to another World of Warcraft Let's Play episode. We have the freaking Demon Hunters. I am so excited to get into this and start playing these classes. I know that this it's been a little over a week since the Demon Hunters launched. If you had pre-ordered the expansion, the Legion expansion, you got to go in and do the Demon Hunter starting zone, uh, excuse me, the, play the Demon Hunters a little early. So I am going to do that. I am going to, as always, continue on with the starting zone Let's Play series. And why not? Why, why wouldn't we add the Demon Hunters in here? So um, yeah, if you are new here, that is what I do. I play the starting zones from a certain level. Um, I think for the Demon Hunters, it's going to be at least uh, 98 to 100. So we'll see how that goes. And um, yeah, if, you, if you've been here before, then you know the drill. So I went ahead and started um, this character. Her name is Brenara. I figured that you wouldn't want to watch me do all of this uh, character creation. And there are plenty of YouTube videos um, out there with the character creations if you want to see all of the details. So without further interruption, let's go ahead and enter the world of Warcraft. Illidari. Countless worlds burning in the Legion's wake. You answered the call. Yet these mortals in their ignorance have come to destroy their own salvation. Our time is short. I will deal with these intruders. You must venture to Mardoom and retrieve the Sargerite Keystone. Now go, but remember, should you fail, all worlds will burn. That was so super cool. All right. So here is... Brenara in the Demon Hunter starting zone area. And yeah, we already have some achievements here to get us to the level that we needed to be, um, our level 98. And we already have some abilities going on here. We have something called Fell Rush. Uh, rush forward, incinerating anything in your path for 12,045 chaos damage. And we also have Demon's Bite, which will need to be up close with our melee range. That quickly attacks for 8,018 physical damage and also regenerates 20 to 30 fury. And then we have Chaos Strike. Uh, which strikes your target for 17,592 chaos damage, and any critical strikes will actually refund the 20 fury, so that's cool. So it costs 40, and then if we critical strike, it'll give us 20 um, of that refunded, which is pretty cool. And then we obviously have our Arcane Torrent, which is always the Blood Elf Racial, so it's cool that they stuck with that. And then the Spectral Sight, which allows you to see enemies and treasures through physical barriers as well as enemies that are stealthed and invisible. And that lasts 10 seconds. Um, cool. So while we're here, we might as well start with the auto loot. Because we know how awesome I am with that. Um, and get our action bars going and check into our spell book for what we have here what are our talents havoc and vengeance i'm definitely sticking with havoc um i am definitely a dps kind of girl not so much a tank so i want to i want to stick with that 
So with Havoc, we have the Demon's Bite, the Chaos Strike, the Eye Beam, Blade Dance, Fell Rush, which we have, and the Metamorphosis. So I'm sure we'll get into all of that soon. And then, oh yes, our double jump. You're able to jump again while near the apex of your first jump. There's our spectral sight and oh glide. Yes, this is going to be cool. So you can activate this ability with the jump key while falling. So it's going to be fun. And then we have shattered souls. Killing an enemy sometimes creates a soul fragment that is consumed when you approach it, healing you for 25% of maximum health. If the soul fragment came from a demon, you will deal 20% increased damage for 15 seconds. Interesting. And then uh, Demonic Presence increases your chaos damage by 15% and your movement speed by 15%. Alright. Glide. Okay, maybe we, we should put that on our action bar. So we probably use that. Alright, awesome. Then let's uh, let's get started. Zargeras's keystone is the crux of my plan to defeat the Burning Legion. It is also your only way back. Find it and return to the Black Temple. Cool. Yeah, I loved this when I was starting the uh, the Broken Isles quest um, with my my level one hundred and. Uh, that was really cool. That was a really interesting we thing that they've that they've that done there. Between the Legion and Annihilation. Cain Sunfury, the invasion begins. Our advanced force of demon hunters is here and has engaged the Legion. Make our presence known. Let's send a shiver down every demon's spine. Raise our colors with pride, Bernara. So we are to slay 15 demons and change the Legion banner to take control of Despair Ridge. And we'll get some boots. Yeah, some boots. And we are wearing leather. And also... Lord Illidan. Let's find that keystone. All right, we'll, it, we'll get there. We'll be able to invade any Legion world, even Argus. Also, um something to note oh there's our oh cool that's that's really awesome so you just hit the space bar once again to do that double jump and then you just hold it and you can um, do that glide there with your wings out so that's pretty awesome um, something to note is if you didn't already know um, when you create a demon hunter, you can only be a uh, blood elf for the horde side and night elf for the alliance side. And I'm pretty sure you can only have one demon hunter on your server, whatever that server is, um, at a time as well. So I'm pretty sure that that is still the case from what I was reading so that's cool so I had a little bit of a of a choice whether or not I wanted to do you know stick with stick with my alliance or go with the blood elf and um, I'm a little partial to the night elves because my level 100 is a night elf but you know there's just something about the uh, the blood elves that I like so I decided to have a little change of pace. So I created uh, I created the Blood Elf. So that's cool. All right, so we are just killing some crazy demons here. This is where you die. No, I don't think so. Cause I'm kicking some serious ass over here. I'm liking it so far. I like the rush, or what is it called? Yeah, fell rush. Digging that for sure. All right, so we have eight out of 15. We go over here to the imp mother. Three. 
That's cool. Oh, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm sorry. Oh, the imp mother and all her little imps. Oh, and they count. That's pretty cool. All right, the imp mother, no. Oh, oh well, too bad. All right, I'll leave that one alone. I'll go over here to this guy. And then change the legion banner. I wasn't sure what that was, so looks like it's over this way. And probably that thing that's glowing with the little hand on it. Nice. Ooh, cutscenes. I love cutscenes. I like them. Sayana, Jace, Alari, find the keystone. Now, let's see about activating that gateway. Oh. I'm not really sure why that needed to be a cutscene, but either way, awesome. Azeroth must not fall. Alright, the invasion begins. It is ready to be turned in. That ought to get their attention. Now on to the business of summoning in the rest of our forces. And here is our feet. So let's go ahead and equip those and get ourselves going. Uh, enter the Illidari Ashtung. Lord Illidan has placed you in charge. Now we just need the rest of our Illidari attack force. There are three Burning Legion gateways ahead. Activate them and our Illidari will pour through from the Black Temple. Like most Legion constructs, the gateways are powered by souls. I think we have provided enough to activate this first one, don't you? Let us bring in our Ashtung forces. So let's go activate, activate uh, all three gateways and summon in the rest of our Legion forces. gateway here. Let's go up this way. I'll this is the one the demons and meet you in the volcano. that's glowing. No, oh, someone else is talking. Oh, right. Plenty of souls were sacrificed here. The activator is powered. Awesome. Well, here we go. I will move ahead and find a lorry. I present you with a gift. Oh, from Lord a Illidan gift. <gasps> the fell sabers. We will assist in establishing the vault. Oh, this is my gift. Yeah, check it out. Oh, nice. Okay, so here is our. Fell sabers. That's so awesome. So we have the assault on Mardum, which is the um, objective that we have here, just like we did in Draenor with those, uh, just doing random, random things in the area. And then we have to find Illidar, or no, I'm sorry, not Illidari, Alari, to the southeast. So let's head on down this way and see what we got. Lots of bodies here. Uh, what can we do with this? Fell spreader. Those things spew fell energy, corrupting everything they touch. Ah, all right. So we want to get rid of those. And that out oh, that actually counts towards our assault. So awesome. And here's another one, so we'll get rid of that. Cool. Over here. Oh! Pranara, over here. I saw them run by. Not the most impressive of our troops, but the Ashtung have proven effective in the past. I'm using the Scythe of Souls to interrogate these demons, but they do not know anything about the location of the Sargorite Keystone. They just keep repeating their loyalty to some queen. Sayana and Jace have moved ahead. Unfortunately, I think Sayana got herself captured trying to help some of our other demon hunters. Oh dear. There is something not quite right with her. Yeah, she got herself captured. 
All right, so set them free. Sienna went down to the molten shore. She was going to help some of the demon hunters who came in through the gateway ahead of us. Instead, she got herself into trouble. This inquisitor revealed they're being held prisoner by some new type of demon called a jailer. The thing sucks the souls out of its victims. I doubt they can hold out much longer. Several of your demon hunters are in trouble. Get the soul rot key to set them free. And then we'll get our chest piece. If we do not meet again, and then I on the prize. This demon has proved less than useful. I have been using the scythe of souls on it, but so far it has resisted my inquiries. We will see how long that lasts. I have a different idea. There is a fresh inquisitor demon ahead. They are horrific fellcasters who see through their floating eyes. Th see through their floating eyes? That's kind of crazy. And specialize in dark packs. If you steal its power, Jace Darkweaver could use some of it in his ritual to spy on the Legion. Better yet, you will gain its power by ripping it from its smoking corpse. So we are to kill Inquisitor Baleful and take his power, which is an eye beam. So that blasts all enemies directly in front of you for 22,710 chaos damage. Eye beam always critically strikes. So that's fun. And Sevis. Sevis Bright Flame has a quest. Enter the Illidari Coil Scar. The next gateways down on the molten shore. Our Coil Scar forces are waiting at the Black Temple on the other side. Personally, I wouldn't have chosen to bring our Naga allies, but their leader did swear fealty to Lord Illidan. I suppose we'll see. We'll have to find a way to power the gateway's activator, like this last gateway. It runs on souls. Alari the Soul Eater grins as Sevis says this. Feed a soul into the Legion gateway activator and then use it to summon in your Coil Scar forces. All right. I will meet you down at the gateway. On so the shore. we have some work to do. It looks like it's all down here. Let's take our fell saber with us. Uh, oh, and he's going with us. That's cool. And we're here in the molten shore. So I'm assuming that anything we kill down here will probably count towards our bonus objective. Hey. Come here. So we'll kill one of these jailers. I think they have the keys. Yes. They have the soul rock key that we need. So we can start helping our friends that got caught. Who said that? Oh, you! Oh, you're over there. Okay. I gotcha. What do we have? Oh, basilisks. Oh, but they're neutral. They're friendly, kind of. Come here. I will cut you. My demon blades. All right, let's get you out of here. I will never be taken prisoner again. Never. Let's hope. All right. She has the same horns as me. All right. So we have a couple of them to free. Um, let's check on the map here. Is all white moon or soul sacrifice? All right. I'm sure we'll come across them. So let's continue to kill these demons and get them destroyed. I could say though that these abilities are pretty powerful. So this is great. Oh, here's one of the cages over here. You don't have much time. Oh, here's our soul to sacrifice. Oh. Must remember the light. 
I'm as good as dead. Do what must be done. Oh, thank you for your sacrifice, mystic. Hmm. Uh, what's over here? Oh, this must summon our forces. I will see you at the final gateway. Okay, sounds great. Illidari Commander, I present the Coil Scar. All right, so we'll uh, we'll let them do their thing, and we will continue to release our friends Another fell volcano. wherever they may be what do we got anybody over there oh yeah one of the cages is over there all right let's go back over this way some more of these demons do they multiply or are they just are they just respawning that quickly? I mean, that's fine. I just feel like some, like they just, another one appears out of nowhere. Cool, let's get you out of here. You were man of Metathrell. Okay, well, it's all right. We got you, we got you now. And then this fell stalker over here. Got you. All right. We'll have to do some selling then. We got some some things that we probably don't need. All right. Here's another jailer. I am your judge, jury, and executioner. I guess once I got that key, like that opens all of the cages, which is nice. I know Blizzard sometimes makes us loot multiples. The coil scar honor their allegiance. Oh, you guys are oh, you're my guardian. Excellent. Alright, we have Okay, we have one more of our friends to to save. Over this way? Oh, in here. I am seriously loving these demon hunters, and this area is really cool. Uh, what else do we got over here? Inquisitor Baleful Slain. Oh, he must be over this way then. Well, since we're over here, we might as well get rid of him. Hmm, he's not here. I guess we have to wait. But in the meantime... Oh! Okay! Alright, I got you. We see each other. Oh yeah, he, cause he has that... Uh... Whoa, how did I get onto the imp? There we go. Well, I don't really want to get crushed. So come back down here, please. We need to talk. And by talk, I mean killing you horribly. There's our eye beam. Blasts all enemies directly in front of you. Awesome. So we have that. So can we can we use? Let's just go use it. How far do I have to be? Whoa. Well, that was pretty neat. Okay. Gotta check that out. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about my double jump and my and my wings. I'm not used to it. Okay. 
Let's see. So it's Friday night. Here. Actually, it's really late. It's like Saturday morning. But I wanted to get this recorded and up on the channel as soon as possible for you guys. At least the first part. Get out of here. Oh yeah, my eyes. Sweet. I have come to your aid. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Yes, it's pretty late here. It's um, actually almost one o'clock in the morning. That's all right because it's Saturday and we can sleep in. Oh, that guy came out of nowhere with his eyeballs. What is it? Eye beam. Alright, we got a couple more demons over here, and then that should probably take care of the coil star honor their allegiance. Should probably take care of that. Yep, there we go. So the Allegion the the assault on the Legion is good to go. And then, where do we want to head? Oh, the whole map is discovered. That's cool. All right, I'm sorry, where were we going? We're going up this way to turn in those quests. I guess up, up here. Oh, you're gonna attack me anyway, so I might as well take care of you now. Cool. And they're busy, so maybe they won't see us when we go by. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn in these three quests. I sense greater power within you. Have you stolen a demon's essence? Set them free. Some of our demon hunters are missing. Yes, I took care of that. Their souls were being sucked dry by a jailer demon. The burning legion in this place is far more powerful and brutal than we have ever seen before. So there's our chest Remember, piece. Is more important than the legion's that we'll go ahead and put on. And the eye on the prize. Yes, we got that awesome new ability. And enter the Illidari Coil Scar. Grim business, but we've all sacrificed just about everything to get to where we are. We will do anything it takes to defeat the Burning Legion. Anything. Meeting with the Queen. We can use some of that essence to complete my ritual. You'll be able to spy upon the Legion leaders and see what they're planning. Use the Nether Crucible and complete the ritual. So we are doing this to spy upon the leaders. Where is it? Oh, right here. Oh. More cutscenes? Yeah. Demon hunters on my world, Doom Commander. This is unacceptable. My Eridar are summoning in more demons to attack them from behind, Your Highness. Do not let them enter the volcano. The key to the Legion's worlds must not fall into their hands, Belias. I will personally deal with their leader, my queen. See that you do. She's kind of creepy looking in an awesome, like, spider-like way. All right. That's new. She looks like some kind of spider demon, as if the Legion needed spiders. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we have two new quests um, that Jace wants to give us, but I think at this point we are going to end this episode here and pick up those quests um, as we progress. So go ahead and let me know what you thought of um, this playthrough. I 
always love your comments and suggestions. And if you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a subscribe if you would like to know more of when I post. So also below, please let me know what you think of the Demon Hunters and how you're enjoying the play through of those so far. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.